Hey, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Chloe and I am wearing a little dressing gown kind of poncho thing that it's really messy and also George bought me for Christmas, obviously an early Christmas present and it's real comfy and has this cute little hood and these two little balls. So today I'm going to be doing a look that I showed you guys on Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram then you know all the details are down below but I did this little poll, 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 I don't know and asked which one you'd like a tutorial on for today and this, this one won. Yes, that's what we're going to be doing today, so let's get into it. Okay, so obviously all my base is done, you can tell because my eyes are pale as frick. We're going to start with my eyes, obviously. So for this look I used tape just because I thought it'd be easier. You are going to see that I am doing this look the probably the hardest way possible. I don't have a white eyeliner, I only have my milk jumbo pencil, so... That's why the way I'm doing this is so much more difficult than it has to be. If you have a white eyeliner, like, I know NYX has a white eyeliner. When I say eyeliner, I mean, like, liquid eyeliner. This is going to be so much easier for you than this. But this is obviously just me compromising because I don't have one of them. I do want one, but I just keep forgetting to buy one, so. So basically, I just, like, get a bit of tape. I'm going to put it on the back of your hand just so it's not super sticky. One, so when you put it on your face and take it off, it's not going to hurt. And also, when you take it off, it doesn't take off the rest of your makeup if you do your foundation first. When doing your eyeshadow, if you're going to be using tape, obviously for straight lines, I do suggest you do your eyes first. Because there's always the possibility that you're going to take this tape off and all the foundation is just going to come off and you're going to have a mark and it's just going to ruin your look and you're just going to get pissed off. But my face is disgusting at the moment, so I decided to do my foundation first. Okay, so once both sides are taped down, you want to get your eyeshadow palette, of course. And as you may have guessed, the one I'll be using is my Jaclyn Hill palette, which is disgusting. And I'm going to be using the usual suspects of transition colours. So obviously my first one is going to be this third one in. And I'm just going to kind of blend that through. Like that. And then the next one is the one next to it. Just doing the same kind of transitioning I do. And then the one underneath the original transition colour, sticking a bit closer to my original crease. And then I'm taking my E18, which is my little crease brush, and I'm going into this, into this quite dark chocolatey colour, only a little bit, sticking here. And then I'm just going to blend that with the smaller blending brush I have. And then I'm just going to take my bigger fluffy brush and blend that all through. Okay, I'm going to quickly do the same on the other side and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've done the other side and as you can see my tape's kind of coming off, which is really annoying, but it's fine, I'll just hold it down. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut my crease on this eye, well, both of them. Because I've already shown you how I cut my crease, I'm not going to show it, I'm going to cut it out. But if you do want to see how I do that, do go have a look at this video here, or here, I can't remember which side it's going to be, but go have a look at that video and i show you in a lot more detail, well, in detail. And you can have a look there, so yes, I'll be back in a second. Okay, my crease is cut. So for the lid colour, obviously if you saw it, you'd see that it was a, a very, or a bright-ish matte green. And what I used for that was this green here from the NYX Ultimate Palettes. Bright, bright, bright. And just used a flat brush and popped it all over my lid. Okay, so that side's done. I'm just gonna quickly do the other side and I'll be back. Okay, so I've done the other eye and this is where it gets kind of kind of complicated if you don't have a white eyeliner. So what I did, because I don't have a white liquid eyeliner, is I kind of sort of like, when, how, the way you cut your crease, I basically cut in eyeliner out of concealer. So, doing like, doing like a really similar thing that I would do when cutting my crease. So. 
But the only thing about this is so much green gets on the brush that I have to do like just so much. So like I said, if you're somewhere where you can get hold of a white eyeliner like really easily, I'm gonna have to order mine, but I'll just keep forgetting. I really highly suggest that you do because it would really work for this. So like that, I've kind of like cut in a really wonky wing. So you can see I've kind of cut in this wing using the eyeliner. I'm gonna have to go over it a few more times just because of the green coming through. And then what I did, what I did last time is I went over it with my Milk Jumbo pencil, but I'm not gonna do that this time because I don't think there's much point. Just with the same brush, just any matte white color that you have will help. And you're just gonna set down that. So I'm just gonna use this one from the Morphe 350. Just to set it down and make it look white. <laughs> Okay, so now that that one is set and white, I'm gonna quickly do the same on the other eye and I'll be back. Okay, so both eyeliner, eye, eyes, eye eyes are done. And to get the little candy cane, to get the little candy cane effect, I'm gonna be using that little eyeliner brush I have. So just any really small, thin brush you have will work. And the same liquid lipstick I used before, which is my MUA one in Reckless. Basically, you're gonna need quite a steady hand for this. If you don't, maybe do this like on a desk where you can put your elbow down on something just to help. What you wanna do is create like little squares. And I normally do the first one in the middle, so do the line there. And then try and color it in. Like so. And so I'm just gonna do that on other, probably like three more times. And I'm just gonna go over those again with some more, just to make it a bit more opaque. And that's the eyeliner done. So then, I will just remove this tape, once it focuses, so that you can see the kind of effect it gives. Probably should have left more white at the end, but that's pretty much it. I feel like this would just be so, so much easier if you have a white eyeliner pencil, uh, pen. Like a liquid eyeliner. But yeah, I'm gonna quickly do the other side and I'll be back. Okay, so the other eye's done. I messed up a little bit around here so it might be a bit more pink than it is white, but. So for the bottom lash, what I did is I got the original transition color. Pop that underneath. And then the one next to it. And then I took a small, I don't know what kind of brush you'd call this, but a small brush and I went into the kind of cranberry red that's in this. What I did with this was stuck it real close to my waterline, like that, and then took my E18 again, just kind of blend it. So that's the eyes done. I'm gonna go do the finishing touches. Like my eyelashes and lips and stuff and then I'll be back to show you the finished product. Okay, so I have finished everything on my face as you can see. Looking real glowy, loving it. I put some fake eyelashes on, just put them on, that's all I can say really. I did my eyebrows how I have been doing lately, just quite natural. I just put a bit of brow mascara through them and then do like a couple fake hairs at the front. I also put some highlighter on, as you can see, some blush, and I used the, I use, for the highlighter I used my Revolution Ultra Strobe and Light Kit. I used the little whitish one there. And for my blush, blah, 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 blah. And for my blush, I use my Revolution blush. That's all it's called. And this is in Treat. This is the one I really, really like. because It's very like light and natural, but also gives me that very, you know, like little blushed look. I love it. 
I also put some lipstick on. I decided to go for the NYX lingerie in corset. I think it's corset. Yeah, in corset, just because it's quite a nice. It's a, it's a muted nude brown, so it's not going to take away what I've got going on on my eyes. However, you could use a red, because obviously there isn't a, a lot of red on your eyes, and if you want to tie them in together, that'd be absolutely fine as well. I just wanted to go for this, just so it was all the attention on the eyes, mm. because I've spent this much time on them. You better be looking, okay? So, that's why I went for that colour. So yes, this is the finished look, and I think mm. it looks real cute with the colour of my hair. And this little thing, like I just feel so like Christmassy and cozy in this. So I am really, really happy with this cute little candy cane eyeliner. I think I'm gonna call it. I don't know. If you recreate it, then please, please send it to me. Please show me. Please tag me and and all that jazz because I, I love seeing recreations. They're really, really fun and just makes me want to create more content. Just knowing that people are actually trying things that you know I I, I show you. So if you do decide to recreate this, then please show me because it would make me so happy. And yes. I hope you enjoyed this, I hope it, you know, gave you a little tip or trick or whatever and I will see you next week, maybe, I don't know yet. I'm going home for a week and I'm not sure how filming and editing is going to fit into all the plans I've got, so I might see you next week, I might not, if not I'll see you the week after, but either way, have a beautiful Christmas and I will see you next time, bye!